everyone and welcome back to my channel again where today I'll be reviewing the graphic novel or series of comics The Walking Dead. Now I've put off reviewing this comic for quite a while because one everybody already knows about it it's kind of like an obvious story to talk about but there's a reason for that it's because it's a good story and also it was the first comic series I ever read so I should talk about it because it means a lot to me. Basically, most people know what The Walking Dead is about thanks to the TV show, but just in case you aren't aware, it's about zombies. It's about a lot of zombies, and it's about how people have survived in the world after a zombie apocalypse. It's still going in the comic book world, and it's reached like 140 something. I, I can't, I haven't, I'm a bit behind, but it's high. It's high there in the issue numbers with no sign of finishing right now. Pros! Everybody loves a good zombie story and I think one of the reasons for this is because if you had to pick an apocalypse that ended the world Everyone wants it to be zombies because everyone thinks they can survive. Everyone thinks they have a plan. In all seriousness I actually do have a very good zombie plan with a survival kit already packed. I'm ready. Are you? The art is incredible. Even though the pencil has moved from one artist's hand to another throughout the series It's still kept incredible. Charlie Adlard has kept it going with an incredible black and white raw feel to it which is helps the gravitation of how serious this story is. It's written so cleverly that it's actually not about the zombies. The story is the byproduct of what happens when there are zombies there. It's not about the zombies, it's about the people and how the people are actually more dangerous and more scary than the zombies ever could be. Another thing I love about this story is nobody's safe. Nobody. If you love a character, it's kind of got the Game of Thrones syndrome here. They're probably going to die. Robert Kirkman was once interviewed and that someone asked him, is Rick ever gonna find a cure? Is it, how is it gonna end with Rick? And Robert Kirkman replied, what makes you think Rick makes it to the end? <laughs> That's amazing. He's not only not afraid to kill his babies, he's gonna kill his the main baby. He's a baby killer. Shouldn't say that. And I'm gonna stress it. I've gotta say it. You're gonna argue with me, but I gotta say it. It's better than the TV show, okay? It just is. I know loads of people who read books and then they watch the film and then they feel all artsy farty by going, oh, the book is so much better. It really is, okay? It really, really is. I don't even watch the series anymore because it came so stupidly different. Like, the first episode and the first issue are like panel for panel, scene for scene, shot for shot, identical. I loved it. Then it massively diverts and changes story, but it was still good. And I was like, this is perfect. I get two zombie films, I'm happy. Or two zombie stories, I'm happy. Then they changed it more and more. And it's just this corroded, disgusted mess. They had a great story, they messed with it. They gotta deal with the fact that I'm not watching. But yes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop ranting now. I promise, it's better than the TV show. Go read it, go enjoy it, and then come and tell me how much you loved it. Cons. The only real con that I can really think about the story is that sometimes with it being in black and white, sometimes the drawings are so bland that you can't really tell the difference between the characters. It doesn't happen all the time, only sometimes, and I do like it in black and white. The fact it's in black and white isn't a con, just sometimes it's hard to tell the difference of a character. Well, thank you for watching. I got far too excited talking about something I'm very passionate about, but have you read it? What did you think of it? If you haven't read it, go read it. Please. Just go! Now! Come back though, but go and read it and, co and come back. I'm gonna go. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye!